Hello YouTube, doing another review video here. Um, thank you guys for your, all your views on my channel. I really, uh, really appreciate your comments and the uh, questions that you've asked in the past. But anyways, what I'm doing today is a review on the Harbor Freight Centec Digital Multimeter. I got it for free at uh, Harbor Freight because I had a coupon for it. But uh, they're usually like 10, 12 bucks, so pretty cheap. Um, but basically, what this is is you can measure voltage, ohms, uh, milliamps, your voltage, you know, from DC voltage to AC voltage. Your AC voltage, our alternating current, is going to be uh, household voltage, like this outlet, for example. And you can on this, you can measure all the way up to 750 volts. For doing anything around the house. To even small stuff in a shop, that that actually that voltage this thing will handle. The other uh, DC voltage is gonna be like a car, a cell phone battery, something along those lines. Um, and we we'll, we'll get more into DC voltage and AC voltage in a later video. Uh, if you don't know what DC and AC voltage even are, or ohms, impedance, things like that, I wouldn't even suggest going down this route unless you've done some research first. Um, the only real disadvantage to this unit. Is the uh, the core the cables for your uh, hot and your leads actually I should say leads not cables um, your leads are uh, in this unit they're just cheaply made and you can see this kind of it's kind of loose so sometimes you don't get voltage readings you gotta press down make sure that this is pressed down a way around this believe it or not if you put um, a little bit of electrical grease, like contact grease on there. It helps it kind of suctions its way in there. I haven't done it yet, but it does work. It makes it a little better. Other than that, for the price, you really can't go wrong. I mean, for basic troubleshooting, this is a great little unit. I've used it a lot, and it's held up great. Um, note where my leads are plugged in. Do not plug your red wire in the com, and do not pre plug it in the uh, 10 ADC uh, that's 10 amp maximum. You do that on a uh, household outlet, you're going to get a bad arc, and possibly one, it'll probably fry your unit, and two, um, those leads will get very hot, and three, actually, you might actually electrocute yourself, so don't do that. So basically, this is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to um, turn this unit on. I have it set on 750. You can set it on 200. The ultimate goal from this outlet, we want to see 120. If it's 125, that's a, that's that's probably okay. 122 is okay. 119 is okay. Any anything higher or lower than those numbers, um, kind of a trouble area to look at. Anything higher, you might notice uh, light bulbs burning out faster. Check your voltage. If you uh, have, you know, I've seen 130, 140 volts. There's a problem somewhere. Um, or even higher, I've seen higher voltage coming out of these outlets. That sometimes means you got a hot wire somewhere in the house. Possibly uh, the insulation's worn down. And it's grounding out somewhere. Um, but that's more advanced. Anyways, just to show you how this unit works, it does not matter. Right or left does not matter on these. They're alternating currents. So if you put, the, don't get yourself hung up on, do I put the black on the left or the right? Oh no, I'm going to electrocute myself. It's good to take caution, but don't be scared of it. As long as you got your uh, leads plugged in the right ports here like this, um, it, it, it's going to be fine. So I always do plug the black in first. Uh, sometimes you got it. Sometimes they don't want to stick in there that well. Get it right in the middle. Okay. So right there, as you can see, I got 122 volts coming out of that outlet. Um, that's good. I can live with that. That that's normal. That's right where it should be. So if you move it to uh, from high voltage to uh, see what I mean about pressing those leads. If you just move it around, sometimes it doesn't read until you press back on those leads. So I took it off high voltage. The one thing different is you get the dust it moves the decimal over. Uh, when you're at 750 it's looking for higher voltage. You uh you you move it down to 200 which is regular, you know, household stuff we're working on. Do not measure a 220 outlet while it's on 200 and you're not going to get a good reading and uh I believe it's uh not going to be a good day for your unit if you do that. So it's pretty simple. First of all, I am not an electrician. I uh, I do not know everything about household repair. I know very you know I, I know more about cars than I do household repair. But little things like this are nice to have, um, either for working on cars, diagnosing electronics, household appliances, equipment. You can measure you know 
you can see if you're grounding out somewhere. Uh, read, just go on Google and, and read how to use a digital multimeter. You can find a lot of useful information on uh, what you need to do to learn how to work one of these. But other than that, to test the outlet in a standard house, this is pretty much what you need to do. And just to show you on the left and right, right and left position for these uh, for these leads, I'll show you. It works both ways. You notice I try to do everything with one hand. When you're working with electricity, try to do everything with one hand because uh, if you do in the event electrocute yourself, you uh, you may not complete the circuit. If versus if you have both hands, electricity is going to come through this hand and back through the other and everything throughout your body. That's a lot more lethal that way. If you do get shocked, having one hand on is a lot better. Um, always start with your uh, ground or black first. It's a good idea, good practice. In this case, I don't think it'll matter, but it's still just good practice to start with your negative first. Um, but as you see, I switched the positions of the leads and I'm still getting the same voltage. It works both ways, so uh, don't get yourself too hung up on what, uh, you know, right or left, left or right, hot, negative, and etc. If you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I'm not an electrician. I don't know everything about this. There's a lot more I can learn. And I am not responsible for any damage that occurs through this or any hazards. If you do not know what these terms are, and you do not, are you not familiar with what I'm talking about, probably best if you don't even attempt it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.